hi guys welcome back to the channel so today's video we are doing a perfume haul let's just go with the first one so this is the number one into the joyful someday sometime perfume here is how the boss comes super cute and this is the price. Yeah. This is the cutest bottle I've ever seen. Smells like alcohol. That is the first thing I, I so the undertone is rose, rose petals, and raspberry. So this was 100 millimeters, three ounces, and then it cost 22 euros. I absolutely love it. This is just gonna be so cute, and then it smells like this. So this is the first perfume, and I absolutely love this. Egg. Moving into the next one. So I have this one, but then I ran out because it doesn't last long. Let's be honest, Zara perfume doesn't really last long. So if you're gonna keep it in your car, you're gonna keep it in your purse, anywhere that you go, that's that would be a very good recommendation that I would tell you guys. Because I have this one, and then within like a month or two weeks, it was just gone, and I have no idea how. Why is it so hard to open it? One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. Come to a one. Yeah, this is exactly like the one that I have. The eighty perfume. First of all, it's so cute that it could just be in your purse, like so 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 cute. This smells divine. I really love the scent of this one. It smells so clean. It smells like um how you see all those Pinterest girls, like the clean aesthetic girls. This is how they smell. I cannot lie. This is so clean, like super, super clean. I love it. And then when you put it on first, like when you spray it first, it doesn't really scent anything. It doesn't even though it comes in a pack of two, it has different um different scents all together. So this one is the gardenia, this one is the gardenian, and this one is arachidi. So let's see if this one's no. So this one have so we're gonna spray this one, then talk about this knot inside. Mm, this is so nice. I thought I I've never gotten this type of shape before. So I'm also going to leave the liner dupes that have the similar scent to this one on the screen. And I will go, we all know most of Zara perfumes have a dupe of a designer perfume that you actually want to buy but cannot afford. So one thing I've also learned is that starting a perfume collection, Zara is definitely the way to go like Zara perfumes. Because it's affordable and then you can try most of the scents, like the ones that you like. It has a variety of so many undertones, tones, notes, whatever that you call it. It has so many of them and you can try all the notes that you want. And then you can, you know, stick to this one like, oh, I like vanilla. I like this one. But then if you just go and buy a 50 euro perfume that you don't actually know anything about it then like because most of this designer perfume let's be honest it doesn't really last all day that they advertise it to be so starting a perfume collection with zara perfumes but then if you can afford to do that with a designer perfume by all means do whatever you want it's called nude bouquet i don't know if my this one is this is how it's called, and I absolutely love the shape of it. 
So let's get into the science and how I think. I'm just trying on with the paper's vacuum. It didn't get me, a, you know, that type of paper to test it. Ooh. It smells like men's perfume. I actually don't like this one. This is the only one that I've tried that I don't like it. I don't like this one. I'm sorry, but if this is your favorite, I don't actually like it. Because it smells like a cream, like normal body lotion. It doesn't smell like perfume. So if it smells like this right now, how is it going to smell in a few hours? This is the price of this one, and it comes in two sets. So let's try the last one. So this is called Field at the Night. And it has an undertone of a fairy tale magical mystery fragrance. A stroll through a garden of jasmine in blossom. So I don't know if there's going to be a jasmine inside, but then that's what they say the undertone is going to be. So this have sand sand wood vanilla also we have cherry blossom so if you've noticed most of the perfumes that i bought have cherry blossom this is, that's what i was saying that try getting all the perfumes in zara not all of them the ones that you like and then you can stick to them and you know that oh this is the note of the perfumes that i like so when you get the money or when you're building that designer collection then you know that you're gonna go for cherry blossom and vanilla because as you can see, definitely that's what I'm going for because most of them have cherry blossoms inside. Yeah. You can definitely smell the vanilla and the jasmine inside this one. How come it's two set but one is not one doesn't scent anything and one's more absolutely divine? This is so nice. I actually like this one. This and this one, I can't choose between which of them. This is good. This is definitely good. This is also that uh, clean gear type of aesthetic. So if you're those people that go for the clean gear aesthetic, and then you want to have a perfume that go with, you know, you see people, they look good, and they're like, definitely this perfume smell good. If I see somebody like, I definitely think they're smelling like this, because this is absolutely Chevsky's. So let's move on to the sample that they gave me. I never chose a sample. I didn't even know it was possible to choose sample. And if you know me, you know that I absolutely love samples. I get samples every hygiene haul that I go. So they gave me a sample of this one. And this is how it comes. So this actually don't have any notes on it. So I can't really tell the notes inside I'm gonna try it I'm gonna try it on my skin no it's late I can try it on my skin to go and sleep I'm trying it here it smells the same as this one this this little here it smells okay. It doesn't smell really good, but it smells okay. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and join the family. Thank you for 780 subscribers. I appreciate you all. Definitely comment down which one was your favorite. If the last one or the one that I said it, does, it wasn't my favorite, if it was your favorite. And let me know if you're going to try any of these ones. See you in the next one. Bye.